the Eilishin IL-276 from Russia and the Kawasaki C-2 from Japan are both medium military transport aircraft designed to carry troops, cargo, and equipment over long distances. While both aim to strengthen their country's airlift capabilities, they represent two different design philosophies. The IL-276 focuses on cost-effective rugged performance, suited for harsh conditions. While the C-2 emphasizes advanced technology, higher payload capacity, and modern avionics. This comparison looks at their design, performance, payload, range, and operational roles to understand how each aircraft fits into the global tactical transport category. The IL-276 has a range of about 2,000 kilometers with a full 20-ton payload, while the Kawasaki C-2 offers a much longer range of 7,600 kilometers with a 20-ton payload giving it a clear advantage in long-distance missions. The IL-276 can reach a maximum speed of 870 kilometers per hour whereas the C-2 achieves a higher maximum speed of 920 km per hour, making it the faster aircraft. The IL-276 is powered by two Aviadvigatel PD-14M turbofan engines, each producing 152.98 kN of thrust. In contrast, the C-2 uses two General Electric CF-68 or CK-1F turbofan engines, each delivering a more powerful 265.7 kN of thrust, nearly doubling the IL-276 engine performance. The IL-276 has a maximum takeoff weight of 72,000 kg, while the C-2 is significantly heavier with a maximum takeoff weight of 141,400 kg, allowing it to carry nearly twice the load of the Russian aircraft. The IL-276 can carry up to 20 tons of cargo, while the C-2 can carry a maximum payload of 37.6 tons, including vehicles like the Type 16 combat vehicle or a UH-60 helicopter, offering greater versatility. The IL-276 holds 10,140 U.S. gallons of fuel, while the C-2 fuel capacity is 11,360 U.S. gallons, significantly higher due to its larger engines, longer range, and heavier airframe. The IL-276 is estimated to cost around $65 million per aircraft. The Kawasaki C-2 is much more expensive with a price of about $173 million per unit. The Eilishin IL-276 is a medium-lift military transport aircraft that is being developed by the Russian aircraft manufacturer Eilishin Aviation Complex. It is intended to replace the aging fleet of Soviet-era an 12 and an 26 transport planes and will be capable of carrying up to 20 tons of cargo or up to 90 troops. Meanwhile, Japan C-2 is a medium-sized, twin-turboprop, long-range, high-speed military transport aircraft designed and produced by Kawasaki Aerospace Company. The C-2 officially started working for the Japan Air Self-Defense Force in June 2016. The IL-276 is designed to operate in a wide range of conditions, including hot and high-altitude environments, and will feature modern avionics and engines for improved efficiency and reliability. While Japan Kawasaki C-2 is being upgraded for electronic warfare, in 2025, Japan planned four C-2 standoff jammers to replace old EC-1 aircraft. The project, split into two phases, 2020 to 2026 and 2023 to 2032, focuses on jamming enemy systems, while keeping costs low by using C2 parts. 
It builds on studies of foreign aircraft like the C-17. Moscow has re-entered the competition, offering the IL-276 in collaboration with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. The design promises continuity with India's existing Russian origin fleets, but concerns remain. Questions over financing, delivery timelines, and the reliability of Russian defense supplies in the aftermath of the Ukraine war could affect its chances. India is currently in talks with Japan to acquire the Kawasaki C-2 military transport aircraft as part of its plan to replace the aging Soviet-era Ilyushin IL-76 and Antonov in 32 fleets of the Indian Air Force. The IAF aims to modernize its transport capabilities by combining tactical and strategic airlift operations. With the Airbus C-295 meter set to replace the smaller Avro HS-748 and the Kawasaki C-2 being considered as a potential successor to the IL-76 heavy transport aircraft. The IL-276 will use Russian-made engines with FADEC control systems, digital cockpit displays, and updated navigation equipment. Its structure will be simpler, aiming for easy maintenance in the field. The Kawasaki C-2, however, is already equipped with state-of-the-art avionics, an automated cargo handling system, and fly-by-wire flight controls. Japan is even studying new versions of the C-2 that can carry cruise missiles for long-range strike missions, turning it into a potential multi-role platform. The IL-276 main strengths are its simplicity, lower cost, and ability to work in tough conditions. However, it still faces challenges like development delays, uncertain engine supply, and untested real-world performance. While the C-2 is proven, reliable, and more capable in payload and range, but it is expensive and may not perform as well on unpaved or very short airstrips. Conclusion Both the Eliashin IL-276 and Kawasaki C-2 showcase the evolving goals of their respective nations. Russia focusing on rugged, affordable reliability, and Japan emphasizing advanced performance and technology. The IL-276 stands out as a practical and cost-effective medium transport option, ideal for countries seeking dependable airlift capabilities in challenging conditions. In contrast, the Kawasaki C-2 represents a new generation of military transport, offering greater range, speed, payload, and versatility with cutting-edge avionics. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both aircraft in the comments section.